This is Travis Ralph with Red Gold Baits on how to cut a sword. Alright, so I'm going to start here at the backbone. I'm going to go ahead and find right where his backbone goes with the line here. I'm just going to get my knife positioned just above it. I'm going to go ahead and just press real lightly all the way along his backbone. all the way up past his dorsal, just so I have a point of entry. Now from here, I can peel the meat back with my finger. I lay my knife real flat on his backbone, just kind of graze across the meat. Very important to have a sharp knife for this. Wow, he's got some color. All right, so keep pulling it back, get down to his backbone here. over the top of the backbone. So I'm gonna go, I'm trying to peel back the slab here so I create enough pressure so all I need is just for this sharp knife just to touch it and it'll separate the meat from the bone. So I'm just kind of peeling it back and coming over the top of this backbone and just grazing across it. So now I've reached the backbone on one side. I'm going to go ahead and start on the other side. Start right behind the peck here. Just going to come down. Real important, you want to, especially on a sword here, you want to try and get the belly layer. He's right across the center of him here. Going right down his backbone here. Now I got that started, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up again. Right along his backbone. All right, now I've punched through. Now I have it all the way across both. Go ahead and lift up. I'm gonna cut right through the center of his. Pumpkin. Not a bit, this is probably the smallest pumpkin I've ever caught. She's pumpkin. Wow, she's bright. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start right behind the collar here. Just go ahead and separate it from the body. Now my slab. So I'm gonna go ahead. Cutting its head off is gonna make it easier to clean the other side of the fish. That way his bill's not putting putting the slab at an awkward angle. So now that we have the head cut off, we have a nice flat surface to start with this backbone. Go ahead and start head to tail, graze along his backbone here. Real important just to use barely the tip of the knife just to kind of graze along this meat in the backbone.
getting spinner now. And we got to the back room on this side. Good, start from the collar again. Come all the way down. Right along his backbone. Run the sides. Alright, now I'm down to the backbone. One more time here. Let me this up. your other filet. I'm just gonna trim this collar meat out of here. It's great for shish kebabs. Alright, so as you can tell from the coloration of this fish, it's got a very orange look to it, it's because it's what we call a pumpkin swordfish. Eat a lot of shrimp, ruby red shrimp on the bottom, which makes their meat a lot oranger, and it actually gives the fish more fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here, start trimming off my belly. Real important with swords, to always get as much belly meat as you can. Because there's a lot of fat in here, it's really the stuff that tastes like butter. So you're just barely gonna brush your knife, just against this belly lining. Go ahead and cut this right in half so I can start doing steaks. Nice clean even cut. Go make sure we get any kind of piece of filament off the bones, off the center cut. Go ahead and layer flat. Pick out our size we want. We'll do about an inch here. One quick stroke, and there you go. Repeat all the way down. Now I've gotten a smaller piece here, tail section. Go ahead and just kind of cut this center out of it. Take the skin off. Use these these chunk pieces for shish kebabs. Maybe some grilled fish. Same thing, the middle of this fish, to get any kind of bone filament. Go ahead and lay her flat here. Go ahead and get our one inch steaks again. 
Real important to make sure that lining makes it. This is about the fattiest part of your fish. This is going to be the best piece. I'm Travis Ralph with Red Gold Bait, and that is how you clean a swordfish.